telescope and gauges. When you first work with these, and quality ones on these really do make a difference because the way this works, you've got a friction adjustment on the back and you tighten that up a little bit and then wherever they push into, they stay. Well, that was not tight enough, obviously, or it would have stayed. So that means I need to tighten it a little bit more. Also, if you move them for over long range, they will tend to get loose. Um, you want to adjust them somewhere close to where you're going to go to start with. Normal thing that you use these for is measuring the size of a hole. So you've got to measure the size of a hole. And what you'll do is you'll put these inside the hole. You'll get close to the right angle. Now, some people, when you're just starting out, will go through the hole and then they'll go back and forth, making sure that, they, that it pushes in all the way you're going to end up with a smaller measurement than what the hole is that way. The truth is that when it comes through one time, it squishes it down. This is strong, these are weak. If it doesn't squish it down, uh, physics quit that day, something didn't work, and uh, we're out of luck. It's, you're hosed. It doesn't matter. Um, I had that problem when I first started. You know, I saw these things and I thought, oh, no, you don't want that. You want an inside mic, which... Inside mics this small are a pain too, and bigger ones. When I first saw it was on a, it was an engine. I was working on an engine for a ridiculous car for my sister that uh, we were doing an R10 with a uh, 375 horse 327 in, which was just crazy, R10 Renault, but it never got finished. Fortunately, we all lived. So, but I went to a machine shop, automotive machine shop, and I was talking to them because I just started studying in college machining, and they were using a telescope and gauge. He said, no, these, these are good. Once through, you measure it. And I figured if the man in the shop that's getting paid, the professional was using it, okay, I'll pay it attention. After that, I got to thinking about it, and he was right. You go back through the second time, what happens is this leans to the side a little bit. It just happens because it's near the size. You don't have as much force in the hole, when it's loose and you tighten it, it will self-center if you let it and come to the right size. If you put it in here and it's a little bit not snug where it's already got friction, then it'll push to the side and it'll start getting smaller. As you can see, I can, I can get it where it's really rattly. So anyway, that's what you do with holes. Now, you do have a situation